Day 15 Luke 2, 1 through 5 Joseph went from Nazareth to Bethlehem with Mary. Joseph and Mary followed the law of the land and traveled from Nazareth to Bethlehem, approximately 75 miles. No bus, no bike, no planes, trains, or automobiles. They had to walk and most likely used an animal of some kind, traditionally a donkey, to help ease the traveling. But still, hello, think about it. You're nine months pregnant and your husband says, hey, sweetie, guess what? We get to take a trip. We're going to get a lot of exercise as we travel to Bethlehem. I don't know about you, but it would be near impossible for me to find my happy attitude at that moment. It is this passage above all others that gives me tremendous respect for Mary. Well, of course, besides the obvious fact that she did give birth to the Son of God, she traveled 75 miles, pregnant. This certainly, in my opinion, earns her the Divine Diva Award. Believe it or not, I am not trying to be disrespectful. But in all honesty, I'm making a point. Here's what challenges me as I read these words. Just because God calls us to a divine task doesn't mean it's going to be a cushy job. God uses our effort and perseverance to fulfill His promises. Mary's focus was on her trust in God, not in the trivial details of every day. Often those trivialities can get us down and break our spirit. But the trust and belief that God will do what He said becomes the catalyst to keep us moving ever closer to seeing His fulfilled promises.